Soldering safety uh, really takes place in two main areas. One is, is heat and making sure that we control our soldering iron and making sure that we keep it away from any sources of ignition and keep it away from our skin which can burn very easily. And we also need to consider chemical effects because we're working with some materials that may be toxic and we want to make sure that we treat those properly. So to begin with, we'll talk about the iron itself. Now the iron is, is very hot. This is uh, set at 650 degrees Fahrenheit. And at this temperature, you get an instant third degree burn if it comes in contact with your skin. So first, be sure to grip the soldering iron by its insulating grip. Second, make sure that you're working with a proper stand so that when you're not using your iron, you can safely leave it unattended without having to worry about it running into or rolling into some flammable materials. And third, keep an eye on your, your work surface. You want to make sure that you're on something that's not going to catch fire very easily. So don't do soldering on your carpet. Try to keep papers and cardboards away and any kind of flammable liquids. Now, let's talk about chemicals. Now, as you know, most solders that are in common use today do contain lead, and lead is known to be toxic to the human body, as any heavy metal would be. Uh, so it's important to make sure that the uh, lead isn't allowed to be ingested by anyone, and that really mainly means babies. You don't want to let a toddler or someone else near lead solder, and so be sure that your work area is kept free of any debris and that your, your young children are kept away from uh, your work area. And, and I guess a, more, a less important point is the fumes that um, are generated when you solder. The, the flux creates a smoke and the smoke is an irritant. And if, you, if you're exposed to it for long enough, you'll begin to develop sore throat and you may get some irritation in your, in your lungs. So you don't want to breathe the, the vapors for very long. So make sure you're in a well-ventilated area or control the vapors in some way. Uh, if you're doing a lot of soldering, you may want to consider a fume extractor. Uh, this is an inexpensive part. This works using um, an activated carbon filter. And the carbon filter uh, acts to as, as an adsorbent, which can stick the vapor particles directly to the, the, the filter. And this will last many, many months, and it will greatly abate any kind of solder vapor. And finally, there's also a minor concern with the lead, that as you solder, tiny particles of lead oxide may become formed. So that's another reason to make sure that you're in a well-ventilated area and that you're using some kind of vapor control, such as the fume extractor. Uh, finally, you'll, you'll probably want to invest in a pair of safety glasses. You never know if uh, something may splatter or you know, burst into flames. So uh, <laughs> be sure to protect your eyes as you're working with, uh, with soldering. Mm -hmm.